Hey guys, so today I will be showing you how I made my background. Now, as you can see, this background that I have right now is different than the one that I had um, in my other videos, and that's because I have no idea where the one that was in my other videos is. Like, I can't find it. I've been trying to find it on my computer for the longest time, and it's just not there. To make this background, you will need to open up GIMP. I would make the width about 700, and I would make the height about 600 to 650. Um, all depends on how you want it. Just click OK. So this is a pretty decent size. I'm actually going off of JUX's tutorial for this. Um, Hers is more for a YouTube background if you want to do a YouTube background, but you can also use um, her video as a desktop background, which is what I did. I will put a link to her video in the description. I'm basically telling you the exact same thing that she is. Let's just check her video out. So you want to go to Filters, Render, and then Clouds, and then Difference Clouds. And it will bring up this. So the X size, you want it all the way up to 16. And the Y size, just put it all the way down to 1. Now the detail, um, that doesn't really matter that much. It just makes it a little less blurry. I just put it all the way up to 15. And just click OK. And then it will bring this up. And then what you want to do is you want to rotate your background. Um, just take your rotate tool. And you just kind of want to rotate it. So the four corners are kind of evenly cut off. This is at a 37.99 angle. Just click rotate. Then take your scale tool. And you want to move this out so that the bottom corner is now filled in. And then we're just going to take our moving tool and just put it so the corners are as even as they possibly can get which mine aren't that even <laughs> at all so then you go to filters distorts yeah filters distorts and then i warp and you want the deform radius to be at 140 And then the um, deform amount is at 0.30, which is just the default. Um, bilinear, move, and the rest is all, you know, the same pretty much. And you just want to click and drag and kind of move this around and make it into really any shape you want. Okay, so once you played around with that and you were happy with your design, you just click OK and then um, make a new layer, then go back to your background layer, right click on it and click on alpha to selection. And then go up to your new layer and just pick out two or three or even more different colors that you like and go to your brush and you want to select a um, fuzzy brush I just have it on full scale and you are going to color in a portion of your little design so there's that and then I'm going to color in the other side whoops usually helps if I choose the right color And I'm going to leave a little section in the middle and put hmm, an orange. Actually, I didn't leave that little of a section. I'm going to do a ton of different colors, actually. Okay. So once you get all your colors on there, you don't have to do what I did. I'm just kind of experimenting with it. And then you go to filters, blur. Gaussian blur and I'm going to blur it a ton 
just around the 290-ish range. I have mine right now at 286. And just blur that. And then go to um, your layer mode and put that at gray merge. That looks kind of cool. Okay. So now I'm going to make a new layer. I'm just going to put it behind the background layer. And I'm just going to take black and a fuzzy brush. I'm just kind of going to, oops, make sure you uh, click select none after you're done coloring and stuff because I forgot to <laughs> and then it wouldn't color. So I'm just going to put a shadow behind the wave thing kind of give it more interest rather than just having that there and then you're going to put that on um, light and or soft light yes I'm going to make a new layer again I'm gonna put that behind the soft light um, shadow layer and you're just gonna fill that with it uh, with whatever color you would like your background to be um, I'm just going to put it as a simple gray right now because I have so much color going on. Actually, I'm not liking the shadow right now. I'm just going to delete it for now. Okay. So now I'm going to go all the way back up to my very first layer, which is the color layer. And I'm going to create a new layer above that. And then I'm going to go over here to my brushes and uh, just choose the Sparks brush, which is a default brush in GIMP. Everybody has it. And just turn the scale down to about um, one. And you're just going to put a bunch of little sparks wherever you feel you want them to be. You want to go to colors and then desaturate. And you want it to be on lightness and then click OK. And then you're going to put this layer as dodge. That just kind of gives a nice little effect. Um, you can go ahead and change where you have the sparks if you feel that um, it doesn't look right or you want something different. Um, go ahead and do that. And then that's pretty much it to make the basic background. Um, then you can add text over it. You can add pictures. Um, you could even do this for an avatar background if you'd like. Um, so on my Teresa1432 channel, um, it's linked to my Foxy Roxy channel. Just go to the featured channels thing and click on it. And then go to the videos. Um, I have a video of a wind blast text effect. You can use that um, for a different text effect. I know JUX Tutorials has a ton of different text effects. Um, I think that's actually where... I got the wind blast text effect from. Um, and then I have a basic text tips video. So yeah, go ahead and check those out. And those can help you with different text um, overlay ideas for this background. I think I'm going to do another uh, tutorial probably Monday or Tuesday. So I am making a gaming channel. Um, tell me what you guys think about that. I'm going to be starting that soon. Basically, I'll be playing um, a bunch of different games on my computer and recording myself playing them. So let me know what you think about that. If you don't like that idea or you don't want me to do it at all, um, just tell me and I won't because I don't want to waste your time with videos that you don't want to watch. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, leave your comments and questions in the comments below. Uh, check out my photo editing channel. I also have a Facebook, and I'll leave those links down below as well. Um, check out JUX's tutorials, and check out um, my friend's channel as well. So have a wonderful day, guys. Bye-bye.